Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. So, turned out to be rather a successful expedition, even though we didn't come away with a lot of treasures. We came away with quite the experience, to say the least. So, presumably, we are back at the guild. But, after we did that expedition, we unlocked a new episode. That being Igly Buff the Prodigy, so presumably Igly Buff the Prodigy could be Wigglytuff as a youngster? I'm gonna assume this, and I was sort of debating whether I'd want to do this now, or maybe in the future after the main game. But you know what, I think I'm actually gonna check out this special episode now. Because, ah, oh, why not? Have a little diversion from the main story and just see what's going on here. So, Igly Buff the Prodigy. Ooh, late into the night at the guild. The two of us sleeping. The Loudred snoring away as usual. Nothing changed there. So obviously this particular story takes place when we are at the guild, unlike the first episodes where it happened just before we actually joined. Ooh, psst, Gilbaster. It's Chatot. Hey, up, what's going on here? I'm coming in. Okay, um. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, okay. Delivery of a perfect apple. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. This is the last time. Each night I sneak away from everyone and bring you a perfect apple from storage. I'm fed up with it. Please, let me stop doing this. I'm begging. <laughs> this, that is the Guildmaster. Would sneak in and eat one anyway if I didn't bring him one. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ooh, what's that? A defend globe? Um... Okay, it's all right. It's not damaged. That's good. I thought it got chipped or broken when I dropped it. <laughs> That's kind of a rare item for you, Guildmaster. You're usually pretty rough with items. But it's nice to see there is an item that you take good care of. <laughs> Guildmaster is always taking care of perfect apples. That is, he's like that again today. That is, it seems like that Defend Globe is a very precious exclusive item, isn't it? But this item only has an effect on bug type Pokemon. So even though you're holding onto it, Guildmaster, it's not very useful, is it? Yes, I know you're right. But. But this is a special thing. Ooh, tell me more. Yep, special thing. It's why, when I decided to become an explorer, the starting point. Oh. Special episode 2, Iggly Buff the Prodigy. So I'm guessing this is going back in time to see um, how Iggly Buff, well, well, Wiggly Tough as an Iggly Buff, became an explorer and maybe um, his ambitions to become a guildmaster one day, I'm guessing. Uh, that was back when I was still a small child. I wasn't in Wigglytuff yet. This was back when I was still an Igglybuff. Well, I got that part right at least. There everyone lived an easy life. It was a very peaceful prairie. I was raised in that little house. I lived happily there with my parents. Nice simple house. Good morning, Igly Buff. Yep, good morning. <laughs> Papa, Mama. You've got plans to play with your friends today, right? I bought a bunch of gummies. Take some to share. Many gummies? Nice. Igly Buff, let's play. 
Yes, let's play Explorers of Sky. <laughs> Look, your friends are here. Be careful. Come home before it's dark. Okay, the special episode Igglybuff the Prodigy stars Igglybuff as the main character. You will progress through the story with Igglybuff as the playable character. Also, you can save your adventure from Igglybuff's bed. As uh, the top one on the left, yep. So, save on Igglybuff's bed, fair enough. Alright, so, uh, yeah, we get to play as Igglybuff. Uh, no, we don't want to save, we're just running around. Have fun playing, but be careful. Before it gets dark, yes. Igglybuff, it's good to see you have so many friends. Be nice to your friends, okay? Alright, so let's go outside. And see my friends, a Whooper, a um, Smoochum, and a Budu. Hey, what should we play today? Let's play in the mud. <laughs> Yuck, I don't want to. It's unladylike to get all muddy, Smooch. I brought some gummies, would you guys like one? Well, that's instantly gone down well, so, uh... If you want to, uh, make your friends happy, just get a load of gummies. Okay, so we can, uh, have a little wander around, I'm guessing. Alright, so it looks like, uh, everyone's liking the gummies. Oh, that's what I need to do. I was having a look at the map as well, just to see what was around. Hey, you guys! You guys! What are you doing there? Them? The bullet- Wait a minute. That's the music from, um... Uh... Uh... Tiny Woods, isn't it? From the first Mystery Dungeon game. Huh, interesting. The bullies, Bayonet and Skorupi. Oh, hey Igglybuff, you got gummies? Give us some gummies too. Lots, bunches, heaps of them. Yep, sure, friendly friends. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Igglybuff. Why is Igglybuff making friends with those bullies? I sometimes play with Bayonet's group, but they always boss me around. And if you cross them, they're really mean. Maybe Igglybuff isn't scared of those two. Which I guess is true, because when you think about it, when uh, Team Skull uh, pretty much ganged up on Wigglytuff back at um, just before uh, Steam Cave on the expedition, it seemed like uh, Wigglytuff was able to beat the living daylight, daylight out of everyone <laughs> from Team Skull, so I guess that's from maybe, <laughs> maybe from like early experience, I'm guessing? <laughs> just Igglybuff just not, does not have that fear? Fair enough. Gummies are so delicious. It's kind of weird that this guy isn't the slightest bit scared of us. Yeah, they're so yummy. But it's fine as long as we can boss them around. Hey, give me another gummy. Me too. Oh, but I think... They've run out of gummies. I've had so many of them too. I wonder what happened. Sorry. <laughs> it's alright. Wow, I mean, we ate up all of them? Didn't he notice? It's alright. We'll forgive you. Just bring more gummies next time. Yeah, I'm not sure you should really be trusting those two, Iggly Buff. Ah, doesn't Iggly Buff realise he's being played by Bayonet? I hate that. I won't forgive this. <laughs> you shouldn't get involved. They're really big and scary. That sounds like a good idea, that buddy.
Sleep now, sweet little child. You are truly adorable. And there we go. To sleep. Hey, Papa. I've been worried about something. Huh? What is it, Mama? I heard from Igglybuff's friends today. Igglybuff is being manipulated by some bullies. Some bullies? Yeah. Igglybuff's friends came to talk to me about it. Hey, Papa. You don't think he'd become like them, do you? Sometimes I really have no clue what that child is thinking. So I'm a little worried. Yeah, that does seem troublesome. But... But I think it's alright. Igglybuff is still so cheerful. No matter how he may seem, deep down he has a good heart. Besides, didn't we have this discussion before? Back when I climbed that mountain with Igglybuff on our way home. Ooh, what happened there? When Igglybuff and I returned from climbing the mountain, we found ourselves stuck in a sudden storm. Oof, bit of a rough area to be in in a storm. Can you feel that? The storm is causing the ground to shake. We need to get off this mountain quickly. It's too dangerous to be here. Let's hurry. <laughs> oh my, I've just seen the shadow then. And right then, this huge boulder started to fall right above me. Yikes, uh... Oh god, it's no good. I'm going to be crushed. God, this is kind of scary. Just that free throw there, like... Right above the... Like, the boulder right above. That's kind of scary. And just when I thought that... Yumta! Wow. Damn. Somehow the boulder was smashed to pieces. I wasn't crushed by the boulder. Somehow I was saved. I'm not sure what happened, and I still don't exactly know what it was. But I'm sure that it was Igglybuff that saved me. Of, of that, I am certain. That kid has some kind of mysterious power. He doesn't ha just have some strong power. When people are in trouble, that's when it appears. I get the feeling this power is full of his kindness for others. I understand your concerns, Mama. But I think we should trust our child a little more, okay? Hmm, yes, you're right. I'm sorry, Papa. He'll be okay. After all, he is our son. Yeah, it's a good thing to be concerned about, so don't worry. That is, the fact you are concerned, Mama, it just shows how much you truly care about Igglybuff. Right? Yeah, thank you, Papa. Okay, so let's see what happens this morning. That looks like just another ordinary day. Uh, looks like you're just going to say the exact same thing as the previous day. Alright, we'll head on that side then. Okay, I'm off. See you later. Take care. <laughs> oh, Bayonet and Skorupi are back. You want to play Explorers? Yeah, let's play Explorers. We want to become an exploration team in the future, so we should go out and explore unknown areas. What do you think? It's great, right? 
So, this unknown place. Where are we going? Hmm, that's a good question. You'd make a good apprentice explorer, bud you. We decided on a place. Murky Forest. What? Murky Forest? Is that what you said? No way, I don't want to. Going to that forest is not allowed at all. My mommy even said so. There's even a rumour that a big, scary monster lives in the forest. Why do you want to go there? Doesn't it seem like the type of place that exploration teams would go? Don't tell me. Does that mean that you're scared to go? No, I'm not scared. It's just that you shouldn't go places you've been told not to go. I don't like it. I'm not going. Me neither. I'm staying out of it. Same here. Huh, what's this? They're all a bunch of cowards. They're scared of making up all these lame excuses. It's pathetic. I doubt they'll ever be a real exploration team when they grow up. Not at all likely. Hey, what's an exploration team? What? You don't know what an exploration team is? Nope. But you're still here, so that means... That means you've got the courage? Yep, I do. <laughs> okay. Alright. You'll do. Come along. Yay, thanks! Friends! Alright, everyone line up. Alright, from now on, we're an exploration team headed for Murky Forest. Gather up your courage and let's go! Okay then, fair enough. Yay, yay! Ooh! Hmm... But to be honest, I wouldn't trust them if I were you, Igglybuff. But, uh, okay, straight into Murky Forest, alright. So, oh, interestingly, we're similar levels. And also, uh, I don't have any items, so I don't know where we can actually get our items from our storage, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, we'll have a little wander around, we might as well. Uh, although, this doesn't seem to be that impressive of a dungeon so far, in terms of items at least, but at least we finally found some Pokemon. Let's see, Charm, Sing, Defense, Curl, or Pound. Well, let's set that. Okay, Ugly Buff, uh, that was quite a strong attack, actually. Okay, here's some items, here we go. Um... Okay, Scorupi, I think you were just going all out with that, um... Whatever attack that was. I think he knocked out that Pokemon on the first hit, yet he still wanted to uh, fire off those attacks anyway. Which I guess is fair enough. Chesto Berry, anything down here apart from this uh, Hoppip? And execute. Uh, whew, quite a big dungeon, uh, quite a big floor actually. I take back what I said before, being uh, not too uh, much of a floor to begin with. But uh, I was wrong. Ooh, that was a hoot hoot that just went past. Uh, that might go to a random room, but I think we've seen enough already. Oh, hello, Hoppip. Goodbye, Hoppip. 